these folks, they're all from sort of the Austin area, and they all play Irish music, and they, and they have their, as you already know, they have their other bands, but they have this thing that they do at the Saxon Pub on Sundays, right? It's been going on for quite the, the Irish invasion. We had the British invasion in 65, and now we have the Austin Irish invasion going We're on. We're here. Yeah. And they are here, so here let's not waste Carol. any more time. Yeah. Please welcome Ola. In 1841, me corduroy breeches I put on. Me corduroy breeches I put on to work upon the railway, the railway. I'm weary of the railway. on the To work for the company in the Leeds of Selby Railway. I was wearing corduroy breeches, digging ditches, pulling switches, dodging ditches. I was working on the railway. In 1844, I landed on that Liverpool shore. Me belly was empty, me hands were raw. With working on the railway, the railway. I've grown weary of the railway. Poor Paddy works on the railway. In 1845, when Daniel O'Connell, he was alive. Daniel O'Connell, he was alive, working on the railway. I was wearing corduroy bitches, digging ditches, pulling switches, dodging ditches. I was working on the railway. Then in 1846, I changed me train from carrying bricks. Changed me train from carrying bricks to working on the railway. I was wearing corduroy bitches, digging ditches, pulling switches, dodging ditches. I was working on the railway. In 1847, poor Paddy was thinking of going to heaven. Poor Paddy was thinking of going to heaven to work upon the railway, the railway. I'm weary of the rail. Paddy works on the railway. I was wearing corduroy bitches, digging ditches, pulling switches, dodging ditches. I was working on the railway. Yeah. How y'all doing, Carvel? Still doing good? Well, we are Ola, and it is so, so lovely to be closing night. Night two. I get to double up. <laughs> Cade Miller Falcha. So, there's a lot of Irish going on here, but there's a... Uh, it spreads out. This is a, it's a Celtic song, but it's from Scotland. Oh, 
Oh, the sober men in plenty, and drunkards barely twenty. There are men over ninety who have never yet kissed a girl. But give me a rambler rover from Orkney down to Dover. We will roam the country over, and together we'll face the world. There's many who feign enjoyment from merciless employment. Their ambition was this deployment from the minute they left the school. And they save and scrape and ponder while the rest go out and squander. See the world rove and wander and are happier as a rule. There's sober men and plenty and drunkards barely twenty. There are men over ninety who have never yet kissed a girl. But give me a rambler rover from our down to Dover, we will roam the country over, and together we'll face the world. Now I've roamed through all the nations, a delight in all creations. I've enjoyed a wee sensation where the company did prove kind. And when pardon was no pleasure, I've drunk another measure to the good friends that we treasure, for they always are in our minds. They're sober men and plenty. Drunkards barely twenty, there are men over ninety who have never yet kissed a girl. But give me a rambler rover from Orkney down to Dover, we will roam the country over and together we'll face the world. Arthritis, your bowels have got colitis, you've galloping polychitis, and you're thinking it's time you die. If you've been a man of action, though you're lying there in traction, you can gain some satisfaction, thinking Jesus at least I tried. There's sober men and plenty, and drunkards barely twenty. There are men over ninety who have never yet kissed a girl, but give me a rambler over from Orkney down to Dover. We will roam the country over and together we'll face the world. Yeah. Huh. Thank you. Andrew McGee. Yeah, yeah so um, does anybody here like Ireland? <laughs> Please don't say no. Correct answer. <laughs> um, so Pat and I are both, we both grew up in Ireland and uh, we both grew up playing Irish music. And we met, when did we meet? Like three years ago? 2018, yeah. 2018 in Don's Depot in Austin. And uh, Pat came to me and said, do you miss like singing all the old Irish songs? And we both do because they're very much a part of our fabric of growing up. And even though we have our own project, definitely draw upon those roots and all those songwriters and songs that we learned growing up as kids and it's been so lovely to put it together with these incredible fine Amer Irish Americans um, and we get to play together every Sunday and get to like fill our boots because we both miss home a lot at the minute and um, it's so lovely so I'm glad you like Ireland too. <laughs> Here's a little Christy Moore song for you.
Fiddle, folks. Chris Weird on the beers. Andrea McGee, everyone.
Thank you so much. Her second gig of the night. Yeah. <laughs> tunes? Or <clears throat> yeah. I'm gonna oh we're tunes, gonna yeah, let's do that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do a, we're gonna do a couple of tunes, a hornpipe and a reel. Oh, yeah. Earl, you Michael Flatleys out there that wanna get your river dance on, plenty of space. And there's even like spaces down the aisles that you can be doing the circle dancing. Just letting you know, just in case you needed that little bit of encouragement. And of course, in case you're not really sure what's going on, the, the hornpipe at the front is the fancy dance, and the, uh, and the reel at the end is the... It, is the, is the Crazy one? <laughs> <laughs> the mighty dance. And this is Maddie Brotherton down here on the fiddle. So.
that's Matty Brotherton on the fiddle, everybody. Give it up for the Brothertons. <laughs> Didn't you just feel like you were in Dublin there, at Temple Bar, <laughs> or anywhere else? When we started this gig, I thought it would be fun to find an Irish song about drinking alcohol, and I managed to find one. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers to that, folks. Cheers to y'all. I wish I wasn't driving. Um, but this is a song about a crowd of fellas hopping on a ferry from Dublin and going to the Isle of Man, which is a small island between Ireland and the UK, and uh, they just drink for seven days and then get kicked off the island, and the song <laughs> details it uh, impeccably. I wish you could, hopefully you can understand what I'm saying. I've got a thick accent, and uh, this, this uh, song goes by quick, but uh, to the keen ears, you're gonna enjoy this song. It's called <laughs> The Crack Was 90 in the Isle of Man. And crack means fun in, Ir in Ireland. It, there's no drugs involved, or, or maybe, butt maybe there was. And that comes around yeah. at the end of every verse, and you can shout it along with us if you want. The okay. crack was 90 in the Isle of Man. Spent the evenings getting locked down in the Ace of Hearts Where the high stools were engaging Over the footbridge out to the dock Where the boat she sails at five o'clock Would you hurry, lads? Says Whacker, before we're there We'll all be back Carry them if you can Oh, the crack was 90 in the Isle of Man Before we reached the Alexander base The ding-dong lead had surely raised him in the bar of the ship had great sport as the boat she sailed out from the port Landed up in the Douglas head Inquiring for a vacant bed into the dining room We got shown the adjacent woman Up the road, lads, ate it if you can What well, a crack was 90 in the Isle of Man Next morning we went for a ramble round And we saw the sights of Douglas Town Then we went for a mighty session In a pub that they call the Darby's We all got drunk by half past three To sober up we went swimming to sea And then back to the digs for the spruce up And while waiting for the rosy We all drew up our plan Well the crack was 90 in the Isle of Man went to the Texas bar, we all came down by horse and car, we met Big Jim and we all went in to drink some wine in Gates's, the Liverpool girls it was said, were all to be met in the Douglas head, but Shane was there in his tie and shirt, with the foreign girls he was trying to flirt, saying, here girls, Here girls I'm, I'm your man, man. Well, the cat was 19 in the Isle of Man, Rich. Fancied his good looks with an Isle of Man woman, he was struck. But the Liverpool lad was by her side, throwing the jar into her. Wacker thought he'd take a chance, so I asked the queer one out to dance. Around the floor they stepped it out, so whack it was no bother. Everything was going to plan. Oh, the crack was 19 in the Isle of Man. Fancy whack, but your man stood there till his mates came back and whack, they all whacked into whack. 
Whack was landed on his back And the Douglas force arrived as well Landed a couple of belts as well And we ended up in the Douglas jail Till the Dublin boat did sail Deported every man But the crack was ninety in the Isle of Man That's Pop Burn, everybody. <laughs> the crack is 90 here at Kerrville Folk <laughs> Festival. Yeah. So if you ever do find yourself in Austin on a Sunday, we will be holding things down every Sunday at 5.30 at the Saxon Pub. If you're not sick of the Irish by the end of the night, <laughs> you can come and see us. How could you get sick of the Irish, you know? Yeah. All we love to do is drink and, and take the piss out of ourselves. <laughs> How, what's the right American term for that? Uh, break our, our own balls. Break our own balls. <laughs> In an American accent, break our own balls. Because <laughs> you don't say piss in the same way, do you? No, no, it's, a different, it's a different thing, yeah. Rip this shit. And if we the take the piss, you break balls. Similar activities. Yes. <laughs> anyway, don't you just love the Irish? <laughs> <laughs> and at the Saxon Pub, because, because it's not under the thumb of, uh, of our knuckleheads at the State House, you can buy, actually buy a drink, so. Yeah. Right. <laughs> This is a this is a ghost story. His shoulder sunk stuck tight. He sat down on the railroad track in his old cab. Delia sat low and in the back. He met with a dark and a staggering man as he passed him by, shouted back at him. Now, Maddie, can't you see what's become of me? I cannot feel the fight. The very last house that I have left, half impressed with my rhymes, are dead to me. All I got left is the beat and the stagger headed down the Caroline. But Matty passed on as quick as he could, couldn't stand such a drunken man sober. All that he wanted was the lights in the bar, the nightingale and the wild rover. But when he came in, they said, now you're back, did they throw you out the jacks with your spout and then you swear and we don't want to hear about Bunker Hay. Later you can give us the girl. John reporter, he said you must have seen the bishop's ghost tonight to put the dry look back in your eyes. But Matty, he'd not be taken in by their jiving and their regaling. He found himself a freshly blown crew. He fell in with their sport and their failing. But as he was going home at the very same spot where he met his dark familiar, he seen him coming back down the line and he was bright, strange, and fine. As he passed him by, Matty threw out his arm, trying to grab hold of his likeness. In the morning, all they found was a frozen corpse at the butt of the Coraline. And at the wake, they were lashing down the drops of brandy in the old fashioned habit. In the church, they were lashing down pounds and fibers, so Matty he'd be fine in the old. Heading for the pub and he had
had no delight. He sat down on a railroad track, his old Cadelia sat low and in the back. He met with a dark and a staggering man as he passed him by, shouted back at him. Now, Mandy, can't you see what's become of me? I cannot feel the fight. That's Rich Brotherton, everybody. So this next song we're gonna do for you, we, uh, we have on our record, which is available at the merch. Uh, we made it at Ace Recording, uh, Rich's studio, and it sounds fantastic if you wanna take us home with you tonight. This is a song that my grandmother, my nanny, I called her, used to always ask me to sing. She never liked it when I sang fast songs. <laughs> she always told me I only sounded good singing slow songs. <laughs> that is a typical Irish grandmother for you. But she always liked it when I sang this one. This little song called Song for Ireland.
so much. Again, that's Maddie Brotherton on the fiddle. Beautiful, Maddie. Thank you. This is another song from Scotland. This is from a great songwriter called David Francie. It's called Torn Screen Door. Yeah. Let's do a, um, a quick again. Sweet, and then we'll do some tunes and then we'll do a song. Okay, yeah. sweet. 
How are you feeling? We all still awake here? Thanks for hanging out with us. It's getting late. Doesn't it feel good to have live music back? That was like losing an arm for too long. There were years and years where the where Irishmen would immigrate to uh, to Britain to do the grunt work that nobody wanted to do. Uh, of course, we've never heard anything like that over here. <laughs> and this song was written by Brendan Bean about Irishmen uh, going over to work on the hydroelectric dams uh, in Ireland and in Scotland. It's got a tune in the middle of it that fits perfectly with a totally unrelated name. The tune is called Maggie's Pancakes, but you can just forget about that. Ah, come Irishman, both young and bold, with adventure in your soul. There are better ways to spend your days than working down. For I was tall and true, all of six foot two, till they broke me across the back. By a name I know, and it's not my own. But they call me Crooked Jack. Ah, the gangers, blue eyed boy, was I, Big Jack, could do no. But the reason simply was because I could work hard hours and long. For I was tall and true on six foot two, till they broke me across the back. My name I've known, and it's not my the day that I went away to work on the hydro dams. All the sweat and fears, the hopes and tears bound up in shuddering jams. For I was tall and true, all of six foot two, till they broke me across the back. My name I'm known, and it's not lined and gray but I never dreamt that I Big Jack would end up that self same way for I was tall and true all six foot two till they broke me across the back by a name I'm known and it's not my own for they call Honest toil is good for the body and the soul. But I'll tell you, boys, it's for sweat and blood that they want you down the hole. For I was tall and true on a six foot two till they broke me across the back. By an For the call me 
little Richard Thompson song for you. I think we have a couple more for you. Thank you so much. We are Ulla. Hope you're enjoying the evening of Irish music. We're sure enjoying being here.
Thank you so much. Thank you. We got one more song for you. Thank you so, so much for being such a wonderful Kerrville audience. Welcome home, everybody. Yeah. Thanks for sticking around. We appreciate it. <laughs> I must away now I can no longer tarry this morning's tempest I have to cross I must be guided without a stumble into the arms I love the most And when he came To his true love's dwelling He knelt down gently Upon the stone And through her window he whispered lowly, Is my true love within that home? Wake up, wake up, love. It is thine own true lover. Wake up, wake up, love. And let me in. For I am tired, love, and oh so weary, and more than near, drenched to the skin. She's raised her up on her down soft pillow. She's raised her up and She's let him in, and they are locked in each other's arms until the small clouds began to grow. And when that long night was past and over, and when the small clouds began to grow, he's taken her hand and they've kissed and parted. And he saddled and mounted and away did go. I must away now. I can no longer tarry This morning's tempest I have to cross I must be guided Without a stumble Into the arms I love
Thank you so much, Kerbal. We are Ulla. Thank you. thank you to everybody to make this happen. Thank you all. Good night. Thank you. You know, you can do better than that. <laughs> yeah. And you can do better than that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's been a perfect day. Why ruin it now? <laughs> One more from Ula. Rich Brotherton, Andrea McGee, Pat Byrne, Chris Wade, Maggie Brotherton, Rich's grown-up daughter. This is so precious. I'm sorry. <laughs> it is. So, Ola. Thank you, Kerbal. The best thing to come out of this pandemic is that Maddie and I are playing music together now. Yeah. So. This is one more Richard Thompson song, and we're going to dedicate it to everyone up in Austin at the State House. It's called It's Time to Ring Some Changes. This old house is a tumbling down The walls are gone but the roof is sound The landlord's deaf, he can never be found It's time to ring some changes They'll arrest your son if you're just unskilled They'll ask you to pose with your hand in the till Ask you to die when you've written your will It's time to ring some changes Time to ring some changes Time to ring some changes, time to ring some changes, oh, time to ring some changes. Hey. Well, you fall in love with the girl you've seen, diamond studded on the TV screen. Change in your pocket won't buy you a dream. It's time to ring some changes. So you pay all your money for your daily bread, but now the bread's gone up and so you need more money. The money's gone down, better borrow instead. It's time to ring some changes. It's time to ring some changes. Time to ring some changes. Time to ring some changes. Oh, time to ring some changes. And the politicians, they look so smug. You ask for the truth, they give you a shrug. You might find the truth swept under the rug. It's time to ring some changes. Tear this mansion down, get my feet back on the ground. Penny for penny, pound for pound, it's time to ring some changes. Time to ring some changes, time to ring some changes.
Caravelle. Good night. God bless.